So one of the things that I really enjoy eating is watermelon. That's why I decided to plant my first watermelon. I've actually never been to a watermelon plantation, so I don't really know how it's done. But I hear that they need a lot of space, a lot of sun, a lot of water, and a lot of nutrients. So here's my plan. I started out by finding an open area where I have a lot of sun. And uh, this is what it looked like. And then I opened it up with a machete and made it look something like this. The whole thing is on a slant. And so in order to be able to catch water and to get nutrients to my watermelons, I decided to make little trenches, little ditches, and create mounds also. So the watermelons will be planted on the mounds so that they will never be drenched, and yet they will have access to the water that is in the ditch, and there will be organic water, uh, organic water in a way, <laughs> but organic matter as well, and the nutrients will be there for them as well. So we'll see if, if this works out. Um, so I decided to make little smiley face ditches so that I can catch the water and the nutrients better. This is what they look like. <laughs> and uh, with organic material that comes from food that I've had, it becomes something like this. And then I add dry matter as well into the whole thing and finish off with, uh, with dry matter as well. And uh, on each mound I plant three watermelon plants. Actually, I plant three in every place where I would like to have one just to make sure that something grows. And if all three grow then only the strongest one will continue growing. And uh, if all goes well, I should have about 90 watermelon plants. And it will be four different types of watermelon, but this will take a few months. So we'll see. I've never planted watermelon before and um, I just hope it likes it here so that we will get some watermelon. Lately, I've also been getting some uh, lighter thumps, and those are some mangoes dropping down. These mangoes don't look like much, and um, they're kind of small, but they're really delicious. Um, they don't taste like any of the store-bought mangoes that I've ever had. They're very sweet. Um, and almost a little bit potato-ish. Um, it's hard to describe, but they're really, really nice. And so now they're starting to come down, only a couple so far. So hopefully I'll be getting some more mangoes.